right, it's time for Unbox Plus Learn again. And I'm Trish, I'm excited, and I'm ready to unbox something. Is there, ah, this is brand new. And uh, as with anything brand new, we never know exactly what's gonna happen, but this is Koji. And when I saw it, I had to have it because I heard that there is this robot that kids could code with emojis. And emojis are everywhere. Emojis are their own language right now. And so I'm excited to open up this box and see how we can learn how to code with a smile. So uh, as always, it's time for that sticky tape. Now the neat thing about the Koji is it's developed for four-year-olds, but it gets pretty complex. And so I've heard that you can use this with older students, or even yourselves. Aha. So here we go. Isn't he cute? Look at his little face. And there we go. Here is Koji, the cutest little robot that requires AAA batteries. AAA batteries. Not included in the box. It's like Christmas morning all over again, people. Alan, it requires AAA batteries. These things should be banned. All batteries should be AA. Every single thing that you ever use should be AA batteries. Should be. And Get that, uh, yes. AA next AA year. AA next year. AA next year. All right. So we got some batteries thanks to uh, Alan and a screwdriver. <clears throat> well, in this case, every good maker girl should always carry a screwdriver. I've got some. No worries. Yes. So we're going to get our little Koji fired up. Now, this uh, robot operates off of Bluetooth technology. So you have to make sure that the device you're using, if it's an iPhone or an iPad, make sure that it's Bluetooth 4.0 or higher. <clears throat> so we'll get these batteries put in. Of course, you know, positive, negative, I'm positive. These should have been double A. That's fine. Now here in TV magic, we're really hoping that I was handed batteries that aren't dead. Cross your fingers. Ooh, cross my fingers and my toes. Ooh. Excellent. Okay, let's see if it comes to life. I feel like a little bit like Frankenstein's monster here where I'm like, it's good, it's alive. Ready? No, no, I didn't get to have that moment. I think your batteries are dead. Uh -huh. They're dead, Alan. <laughs> They're dead. <gasps> oh, Maui! It's not! It's alive! I did get to have the moment. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We get to play with Koji with an app. And so I'm just gonna fire up my iPad here and show you how simple this app is. From entry level, you've never coded before, to, you know, maybe you've done some cool things, some complex things. So we're gonna go into my coding and we're gonna find Koji. Oh, it's like whistling to me. Koji, you're so cute. All right, we're going to start. And we're going to... Oh! I'm going to load my Koji. I feel like Koji needs a better... <laughs> okay, it's going. All right, I think Koji's ready. So... The neat thing about Koji is it gives you some options depending on what you want to do. So, you know, whenever you're introducing something new to kids, you probably want to let them have some free play, some open exploration. And so Koji lets us do that, where, you know, we can um, operate um, and give it some instructions. And the neat thing is on the app, it does give the kids some of those tutorials. And so it says a robot is like a computer. It only works when you give it instructions. So what we're going to do is you are able to use emoticons to be able to move Koji around and see what happens. So let's try this. So we're going to put in some movement. We're going to turn. We'll give it a thumbs up. Aw. And then maybe we'll give a little kiss there. So let's see what happens. Push play. <laughs> so I need to go to a few more things, but um, I can have lots of different faces for him, different vehicles. It's a lot of fun for kids to be able to go through and be able to explore. Um, the next thing I want to be able to do is I want to be able to do a little bit more problem solving. And so they do have something really neat, like a macro maze. 
where it takes you through different difficulties and different challenges of sequence and problem solving. So I'm able to go through um, the level one of the park and I have to look at how to be able to get there. So how do I simply move one block forward? So think about how easy that is to be able to have students be able to start saying, okay, you know, this is all I need to do in order to move that one block forward. I'm able to solve some problems. When I do this, I can move on to the next thing. And, um, wowee, you won, Koji. That's awesome. And so it'll unlock the next level and it lets kids keep going and keep getting more complex. Now, if I guess I'm gonna pause this, and I'm gonna go back home. Another fun thing is just drive mode, and this is where you can have a lot of fun with your really cute Koji, because you know what? He's fun. And so you're able to take him for a drive, go through some mazes, try some, you know, don't pull a thumb on Louise and drive him off the table, but uh, you're able to have a lot of fun. And you know, maybe set up some physical challenges for students to be able to go to. Think of the measurement that we could do and uh, all of that. So, you know, I really like Koji. I'm really happy I unboxed him today. And uh, Koji, do you love Unbox Plus Learn? He loves Unbox Plus Learn. So we'll be back next time with more fun unboxing and uh, hopefully things that have double A batteries. See you.